Hey you guys, this is Josh with Homesteading Family and today I'm going to be showing you how to plant garlic. All right, so before we can plant garlic, you gotta know a little bit about the types of garlic and what you're going to plant. There are essentially two types of garlic. There's hardneck and there's softneck garlic. And the hardneck garlic, now there's a ton of varieties in each of these, okay? So we're not gonna get into that today, but you need to know the difference between hardneck and softneck. Hardneck is generally a larger uh, clove and it generally is better suited to cooler climates and it uh, better, generally has a stronger or better flavor. It's a more flavorful garlic and it also grows escape. And escape is a little flowering bulb at the top that is also edible that a lot of uh, foodies and culinary people really like. Um, but it, but it's, that's one of the main differences, just that it's a cooler climate garlic, it's larger, and it is stronger flavored or better flavored in those, those types of varieties. And then the soft neck is does a little better in a warmer climate and uh, it's not as flavorful but it's a much better storer uh, it stores a lot longer and a lot better so you've got to know what you want to plant what's generally best is know a little bit about your climate or your warmer climate cooler climate and and then try both and try different varieties of both to find out what you like and uh, then you can start leaning towards some of the things that both grow well for you and that you like the flavor of. Okay, so next you gotta know when to plant garlic. And generally that's going to be in the early fall, late September or you know in October, certainly by the end of October in most climates, we're mid-October now getting these in. If you can get them in a little bit earlier, it's fine. The exact timing really depends on your environment. But the goal of what you're trying to do is get them in the ground Get them rooted a little bit, but you do not want those shoots to be uh, popping through the surface for the winter. You want those to stay underground, and then they're going to get a very, very early start in the spring and take advantage of that long spring season to get you the best sized bulb. Now, if it gets to be too late in the season, too late in the window, and you're starting to get too cold to plant garlic, you can plant it in the spring. You want to get it in as soon as the ground is workable for you. Um, and it will grow and you'll still get a harvest. Your, your, um, your overall bulbs are just gonna be smaller. So fall, you know, target your, the um, fall equinox is a great time to get it in right there. Some climates maybe a little bit earlier, not a problem generally if it's a little bit later like we're doing here in late October, but that is, that's the best time. Okay, so next you wanna properly prepare your soil and garlic likes loose, light soil that is not very wet, and it's also a heavy feeder. It needs a lot of nutrition, okay? So your soil needs to really be built up well. Now, I practice a no-till system here, so you're either going to want to till the soil before you plant the garlic, or at least get it prepped. And in my case, I do not till, and so what we're doing is broad forking the soil here and this is going to loose it up. I've already laid down a layer of compost. We're gonna broad fork this, smooth out the beds, and then um, add another layer of compost because I'm still building up my soil here and I really, uh, really wanna feed the soil for this garlic that's going in here. Now, if you've been following along with me here at Homesteading Family for very long, you know I'm a proponent of low to no till. And there's a lot of ways to work the soil without continually mixing the soil up and turning it over. And in these permanent raised beds I've got here, this broad fork is great. This is just gonna loosen up the soil. We added some compost to this several weeks ago over the top after shaping the beds. And this is just helping us to loosen the soil up. Really, really important for that garlic, okay? It doesn't like heavy soils. If you've got clay soils, uh, you really got to make sure and loosen it up and, and these raised beds are a real benefit because uh, you don't want them sitting in water. So we'll just finish this row real quick and then we'll get to amending it. Okay, so after you've got your soil loosened up, prepped, um, you want to be 
making sure that you've got, uh, you're building up your soil fertility, okay? Garlic is a very heavy feeder. And so this is a great time either to add additional compost, which is what I do. I don't, don't generally do a whole lot of fertilization, certainly no chemical fertilizers. Sometimes I'll add some organic fertilizer, uh, complete organic fertilizer, which is great. If you want a great recipe for that, you can just Google that along with uh, Steve Solomon. He's got a great recipe I've used for a lot, a lot of years. I don't have any this year. So we're just gonna add some extra compost to really help the garlic out. And we'll get this bed amended and then get ready to plant some garlic. Alrighty, so last step before we get to planting the garlic here, you can see Connor's laying it out ahead of us, is to prepare your garlic, which there really isn't much to it. If you're buying seed garlic, it's gonna come already broken up into cloves like this, ready to go. This is all garlic that we grew ourselves, and so we had to take the bulbs, break the stems off after it had been cured, and just break them off and, and you know peel off a lot of the holes. Now you wanna leave some of the hole on them, you don't need to strip it down just to the bare garlic. And that's really it, it's ready to go. All right, so you know what? This is actually the easiest part. There's just a couple things you need to know. Um, garlic, you want to plant it with the fat end or the root end down, okay? That's really, really important. And the skinny end, or this is where it's gonna shoot up, up. So you wanna plant it vertically like that and then we'll, we'll get to putting it in the ground in a second. You wanna space it roughly four to six inches apart. It kinda of depends on your soil, how rich is your soil. You know, if you're kinda of depleted and, and struggling with your soil, then space them out six inches or a little bit better. If you've got really good soil, then they can go up to four. And a rule of thumb that you can use, um, you can either use, like what Connor's down there, he's using a three foot ruler to lay them out. You can also just use your hand. Generally, your hand is about four, you know, to six inches, somewhere in there. And that's a great rule of thumb. If you wanna go real quick, you can just lay it down and you can even use your thumb, some people do. I'm gonna do something a little different to make a hole and put it in, cover it over. That's it. Now, I prefer to use my little spade here and just come along. You don't have to do much. Just drop it in, cover it up. Garlic is really, really easy. If your soil is nice and loose like it ought to be, you can see how quick this goes and it's a good thing because we've got a 66 foot row here and garlic at every four inches that's about 600 cloves of garlic we're going to plant all right so we're getting down to the last garlics here i think we put in about 500 I was hoping about 600, so we ran a little short, but that's okay. One more thing, just to reiterate. Fat end or root end in down, skinny end up. This one's not quite so skinny. Uh, they're not all perfectly shaped, but skinny end up. About two inches down and four to six inches apart. And we've got some garlic planted for the season. Now there's a couple more things you need to know. All right, so your garlic's in the ground. Um, let's talk about watering real quick. If you have moist soil like our climate and rains are coming, you really shouldn't have to worry about watering till maybe next summer. Um, but it depends on your environment. If you're very dry, just go ahead and give it a good watering right now. And you wanna give it about an inch a week until you start getting some rain. Okay, so a couple of last tips that you need to know. Um, garlic does not like a lot of competition, so you've got to make sure and keep your beds weeded. If you're doing a no-till raised bed system like this is, 
that becomes really easy because we're just not bringing seeds to the surface. And likely if you're planting in the fall, you're probably not gonna have to do a lot of weeding right now. But when spring gets going, if you start seeing weeds come in here, you just wanna come and get them up when they're small and um, just prevent that competition with the garlic. And another solution for that that solves a couple issues is mulching. You can also mulch and that's a great idea. You know, I like to generally keep the soil covered either with a wood chip mulch or even just with heavy composting is great too. Um, if you're in a really, really cold climate, you may want to mulch just to protect these garlics, this, these garlic cloves going in to winter, but that also is gonna help you retain moisture and slow down the uh, weed pressure. So mulching is a great way. You can do two to four inches of mulch. And that's about it, guys. Garlic is really a underutilized um, herb is what it is on the homestead. I think a lot more people should grow it. Uh, it's great to be throwing in so much of your food for added flavor. And of course, uh, it is full of health benefits. Carolyn uses it in lots of different tinctures and things to help keep us well. And, uh, and it's really easy to grow. You just don't have to do much to it. It's gonna sit here for you, a little bit of weeding. And then you're gonna harvest around summer solstice, around late June. And we'll talk about that next June. So that's it for today. And I will see you next time.